Hey there, me again. Uh, here we are looking at uh, a post that I did, the last video that I produced, uh, on creating a kiosk slideshow of tabs using Google Chrome. And that was a quick video that I put together that explained how you can use Google Chrome with uh, an extension called Revolver Tabs to access um, web pages in your Chrome browser had them automatically rotate so that you could put this on a computer in your foyer uh, with a large screen and people could be looking at photos of the school, uh, different websites, different dashboards and so on. So it's a, just a handy little video. I, I recommend you go and have a look at it if you haven't seen it as yet. But anyway, there was a bit of a discussion around it and people liked it and that was really good and uh, people made suggestions here and there. But then Nigel came in and said, then all you need is some way to automate putting Chrome into full screen. So if you remember from that previous video, uh, when I demonstrated it, uh, I started the um, Revolver tab uh, extension. It started showing the, um, the tabs and jumping through them every 10 seconds or so. Uh, but I had to press the F11 key in order to, um, so I manually started it and then I pressed the F11 key to display the screen as full screen. So you didn't see all the tabs across the top. You didn't see the, um, the Windows start bar at the bottom. So Nigel's asked a really good question. You need a way to automate it. So why do you want to automate it? You want to have this device in the foyer. All that you want to be able to do is turn it on, log on if you want, and then start Chrome. Uh, you could even set it to auto start Chrome if you wanted to. But ideally, what you want Chrome to then do is two things, that you want it to kick off the auto revolver by itself, and you want it to be in full screen by itself. So I thought about how you could possibly do that, and I've come up with a solution. So uh, this is a little batch file, a Chrome test.cmd that I created with a whole bunch of uh, lines in it. Let me just launch Chrome, and I'll show you what you need to do. So this is a blank Chrome, only the default page. What's this today is Dragon Boat Festival Day, fabulous. Um, so here we are in Chrome. We've got our Revolver Tabs uh, extension installed. And if remember, if I click, right click on it and go Options, I get a screen up that's got a whole bunch of different settings there. This Auto Start is the one that you need to have ticked if you want, as soon as you start Chrome, for it to start the Revolver thing happening. And we'll do 10 seconds as this test. You can have a play with these other settings for yourself, but I'll, I'll just leave it as it is. So just 10 seconds and auto start at the things that I want. I'll save that, it's saved. I'll close this and I'll close Chrome. Chrome is now gone. Now, what have I done here? I've created a, I've just gone into Notepad and typed in some commands. So add echo off is don't show these commands as you um, as you run this script. Start Chrome in kiosk mode. So this is uh, an important little command line parameter to add in. And then this is the file that you want to load in the first tab. So you'll see that what it is is a file on my C drive in a folder called 8 central and it's number one.jpg. If I jump into my 8 central C drive 8 central folder, You'll see I've got seven pictures in here, one through to seven. I've just numbered them. Uh, you can name them however you want to. Um, but then what I've done is I've started, first off started Chrome in kiosk mode, and then I've added tabs. So these commands all add different tabs. And some of these are more pictures, two, three, four, five, six, seven, as you can see. But some of them are websites. And it could be as the original person who asked for this solution wanted, the solar array dashboard for the school solar panels to be able to be displayed in a dashboard. Well, I've just bun I've just grabbed a few different dashboards. And what will hopefully happen when I run this is it will kick off in full screen mode. It will show me my first picture. And then after 10 seconds, it, it will switch to each of these different things. And at the end, go back to the first picture and keep going. Let's see what happens. So what I did was I, I saved this. When I save it in Notepad, it's really important that you save it by putting double quotes around it. Because if you do that and, and name it with a .cmd, it will automatically um, make it a script file or a batch file. So uh, I'll just cancel that because it's already saved. I'll just put this away. And this is the file here that I created. So I'm going to run this script and let's see what happens.
So little black box comes up. Chrome will come up. Look, it's uh, full screen. It's loading all of the different pages at the moment. Uh, now, that's interesting. This is the last page. Uh, it showed that for 10 seconds. Now it's gone back to the first one. So this is the first image. 10 seconds later, it should automatically jump to the second. Ah, that's a different one as well. So this is a, a dashboard. Might just have to have a, a closer look at how I did that in the script. So this is, there should be seven photographs. I've seen two so far. Keep going. Okay, so this is the time page that I had displaying the time. This is a third photo. Fourth. Fifth. So there should be two more photos, but there'll probably be a um, another dashboard. Sixth. And seventh. So that's seven different photos. And here comes my other dashboard. So this is COVID-19 cases. Isn't that a nice, happy little one to be showing on the screen? I'll just move myself out of the way here. And then it goes back through. So that was the first photo. And then it should go to the next one and so on. So um, that is basically what it does. Uh, I didn't have to press that um, revolve uh, extension and I didn't have to F11. All I had to do was double click Chrome to kick it off. And I could have added that uh, script into the auto run uh, for the computer. This is a Windows solution. Uh, obviously, Chrome runs on Chromebooks and runs on Macs and runs on Neverware, um, cloud ready. But um, for Windows, uh, that's a way that you can make it run automatically. I'm not sure if you can do the same on the other platforms. Uh, I'm not interested in finding a solution for those uh, that does this exact thing, but uh, it might be something that you want to try. What it also means is that it's very then it, then it's very easy to edit that script uh, to do whatever changes, change the photos up, um, change the, the websites that you want to link to, and so on. Uh, change the order of them, however you like. Now, what I will note: F11 does not undo this. Because you're in kiosk mode, it's not in full screen mode, it's in kiosk mode. Escape doesn't do anything. The only way to get out of it is to hold the Alt key down and press F4, which will end. So Alt F4 is a standard way of closing a window. And that is how you will get your, um, your Chrome to stop, your Chrome kiosk to stop. So that, that was the script. Um, you're welcome to pause this screen and copy that down for yourself. Um, but it's a fairly simple way of doing exactly what Nigel asked. I hope that helped. See you later.